Today I'll be showing you my 2022 archery cap and rest in pieces while we're at it. First victim is Ninja Cooker. I think it's still pretty cute but what is that fishnet stockings? And this is a perfect example of why I hate using the fill tool. One of the many reasons why this piece looks a bit off is because of the teeth. I drew each tooth individually, whereas if I compared it to Sanders' odds, you can see that he treats the whole teeth area as one shape, instead of individually. Especially when it comes to stylization, this is really important so that your character doesn't look creepy. This piece was actually done for a friend when I first started drawing characters, and there I really did not do her justice, at least I couldn't see Sam's video. Oh, look at her, standing like an NPC. Wow, so this is actually my first OC ever, which isn't that bad, but she looks like someone just straight up punched her and made it indent in her nose. Her skin looks so crusty and different from my usual style, and it's because of I was experimenting with four new brushes that time. So here's a tip, always stick to your main brushes, because a lot of the time, your art style will change drastically whenever you change a few brushes. I drew her twice and I still butchered the whole drawing. I mean, first, her lower lip is massive. And secondly, why does her nose look like the Airbnb locker? So this piece was actually made for my sister Kate, and when she saw me drawing it, she was like, yeah nah, so I ditched it, and I'm very glad because those look like tentacles, reminding me of the Spectre logo from James Bond. Aww, so cute. <laughs> this is me looking at my art right now. Oh my god, <laughs> she looks so shook, what happened? Did she see a ghost while drinking boba? The reference photo is so pretty and I just butchered it. I mean, look at that nose. Is she a pig? Okay, but in all seriousness, I'm really glad that I was able to improve from this to this in only a year. But, of course, everyone's journey is completely different and might take longer or shorter. So, if you're just beginning, never compare yourself with a professional like Sanders Arts or Rastros. Thanks so much for staying till the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Watch this video next if you want to see my process of drawing Tiva Lockhart, and I'll see you there. Bye bye!